You are a star, and a moon shines on you. That's a Oh my god! <laughs> what? You guys are reading DC this to me. Example, <laughs> DC is an example of a place that is white supremacist, but what does it mean? Hmm. How'd that happen? Hmm. How did that happen? <laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, I know this is, like, super different from our regular content. Oh, like, like, incredibly different. So different, in fact, that this isn't even a video game. But I came across this website earlier in the week, uh, and it was it was just cracking me up all day, so I really figured we should make a video out of it. The main idea of this is you just put in a sentence and an AI, you can read all this, you can pause it and read it if you want, but the AI just basically goes word by word and comes up with a story based on your sentence. So it's pretty funny. And I have zero, I have zero experience with this, so I'm, uh, I'm a little stoked. Alright, Trey, give me a sentence. Uh, so it could be any sentence? Anything at all. It, 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 just open your heart to the world. Um, I, I bought an apple yesterday. What do you have to say about that, Transformer? I bought an apple yesterday. It looked so good. The woman behind the counter went away, and there's no apple on the counter. The apple is missing. <laughs> <laughs> it was then that Lyle called a supervisor who, upon seeing the apples on the counter, called a guard for the store to come back. <laughs> I took an apple that I didn't order because there are others in the store today, and I ate four. What? <laughs> Lyle's face showed a sharp look at the store's guard's surprise. He was about to call out for help, but he didn't because he also wanted to see what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful beginning. I think we can do, or more of, I think we could force the AI to do better. <laughs> Last Tuesday, I subscribed to just two guys on Twitch. Uh oh. And it was the best day of my life. All right. Mine too. <laughs> I can't thank them enough. So here I go again with the second of the weekly update series. I'm going to talk less <laughs> about how great the game is and more about how awesome their streamer. <laughs> What? <laughs> who is it? Don't, don't promote this guy. Who is that? Yeah, I don't who, know who that. Don't promote. Multi no, look that up. Google. Hold that. on. Hold on. Nothing. What? It's completely made up. Wait, did they just make up a username? Made up. Yeah, Register they it. sure did. That is just Register that Twitch <laughs> username. Yeah, there we go. Uh, password. Um. All right, guys. Don't worry. We got Molten Cox. <laughs> we got it. We got it, boys. We got it, boy. <laughs> just, just, Molten just follow Cox. us. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh, yeah. You guys want to see how to game the system? <laughs> oh, hey, donate. <laughs> it's like donating as a different account. <laughs> it gives it doubles up, the money. Like, creates money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this, is how, right. this is an item duplication glitch on Twitch. One time, at the jewelry store, I witnessed a robbery. A man in a blue coat was trying to steal a watch. A small amount of money at that. His wallet was full. He was oh. trying to squeeze into an empty car. At the last second, a woman from the jewelry store pulled out a gun and shot the robber in the chest. <laughs> at the store, the clerk's life was saved by the brave customers that were on the scene trying to protect the manager, a few children, and others. Garfield sat up Don't do that. Don't do this. at the no. table no. like a person and was eating... John's Lazaga. He was the only person besides John at the table. For some reason, he looked at me and didn't even try to hold himself back. Can you imagine Garfield locking eyes with you and then diving face first into a plate of lasagna? Imagine, it's my dream every night. When John saw Garfield, he turned away and walked off. He just, he just walks in, his cat's like half buried in a plate of lasagna, and he's like, oh, another Tuesday. <laughs> you know it has to be Tuesdays, because Garfield hates, hates Mondays. Mondays. Yeah. He stopped just out of sight, just out of his reach, and then started running. I saw him stop once. I had no idea where he was going or what he was running into, and he just left. I was waiting for him to stop, but he kept running away. <laughs> the time grew late and the sun came down. I knew this table was late because of all the food was gone. John's lasagna was gone. John's food was gone. John's lasagna was gone. <laughs> And Garfield was gone as well, <laughs> along with all the other garbage that was left around the table. <laughs> the sweet life of Hannah Montana on deck. Oh, oh wait, oh, we can't share that. Wait, oh. why did that come from the no, sweet life? Montana on deck. A goofy movie, The Rulers, a movie by Peter Fink, is one of my favorite movies. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you do. Goddess Day, The Devil Wears Prada. Devil Wears Prada is a movie <laughs> I saw as a kid. <laughs> 
quit. You just quit reviewing one. <laughs> yeah. That's the a full stop on a goofy movie, The Rulers. That is a fantastic yeah, movie. Like, Go it see like, it. Are... Now on to the real review of A Goodness Day, The Devil Wears Prada. Frank sat behind his desk at the Wilmington, Massachusetts <laughs> Police Department. <laughs> police Department. Hey, if you put raise your hands in chat if you guys get the Wilmington, Massachusetts Police Department joke. That means you're a real member of the guy gang. Jim, what's a two-way petting zoo? It's a reference to the office. I want to see if it'll, it'll, I want to see if it'll pick up a on petting it. zoo like a zoo only in three dimensions. <laughs> How do all three dimensions work? When we put our hand on a person's leg, we touch it with the same dimensions it is divided up in. So when we touch it with our hand, we are hitting it with the same dimensions. The same thing applies when you run, swing a bat, or walk a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> I was fascinated. A petting zoo? My first experience with a VR petting zoo. You can find videos and pictures at Jim's blog. <laughs> www.jimjames3d.com Hold on, are you ready to buy a domain name? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have told you we're friends. Hey, come on. It wasn't your fault. But... I shouldn't have pushed you for it. I don't. I didn't think it was my duty. Maybe you were just trying. It's not my fault. <laughs> don't look sad. That was nice. Yeah, sure. I guess. Now you want to be with me? But... We're not finished. Get your stuff and come back. Ships prepared to dock behind Jaffa Homeworld. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to be? What do you say to a kiss? Yes, and we're not done yet. How about a hug after a long time? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what I said? <laughs> oh, I just got an email. I just turned on my phone. I have an email. Moten Cox is now following you on Twitch. <laughs> hey guys, if you love us, go follow Moten Cox on Twitch. He's not nice not guy. just you guys. Follow Moten Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Moten Cox on Twitch and the Mr. Oten Cox Twitter. Twitter.com, Mr. Oten Cox. Now you gotta go get <laughs> Alright, guys, we have the monopoly on Moten Cox. You can't take it from us. What should we record today, Joshua? The same thing we record every day, Trey Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. On the Nintendo Switch? That's cool. I mean, we'll record some Mario. Yeah, you said that, but we've been getting all this feedback about the Switch, so you mind if we do Nintendo Switch stuff? Yeah. Okay, it's on your bucket list. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit, I'm kind of a Nintendo guy, so I'll go with the Switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I like Nintendo too. That's like my favorite thing. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, but uh, yeah, it's something that's kind of on your bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> why is this? Why is this not too different from a regular conversation Com between us? <laughs> it's a genuine conversation that we probably had. You are a star, and a moon shines on you. Whoa! Aww. That's a. Oh my god! <laughs> You guys are DC this is an example. Of, <laughs> DC is an example of a place that is white supremacist. But what does it mean? Hmm. How did that happen? Hmm. How did that happen? <laughs> well, that's a really good question, actually. Bugs Bunny in a hare in time, a bunny who can change color, and a rabbit who is an evil rabbit who steals animals with her nose. Muffin says that he used to be a rabbit. He did a lot and is now a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Muffin and Alice make up. <laughs> And Muffin says that he likes that he loves her. Then they hug each other, and Muffin <laughs> reveals that. Oh no! Oh, it's, oh no! Oh, it's... Hold on, hold on. What happens next? And then they hug each other, and Muffin reveals that he's still a good person. He then reveals that he was born an idiot and will learn how to be a better person. It appears that he's learned that he is evil. Episode, Episode appearance. appearance. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants movie. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> battle for Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> About me, a college graduate. I teach English in Seattle while doing my master's degree in international economics at George Washington University. I also run my own blog. My favorite authors are Joseph Nye and Daniel Yergin. 
I love exploring the possibilities of space technology. The story of an interview with David Boring. <laughs> Oh my god, David oh, Boring, Oh, David, stop. you are very boring. If I don't tell the story that I want to tell, what will I do? That's oh my good, god. That's a good question, David David Boring. And Scott Schaefer, who helped, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Um, you know, yeah. Yeah, we like pancakes, yeah. <laughs> Would you say that you will never take a single job in restaurant management if we win the Super Bowl? So, I feel like I would never, ever take a job in restaurant manager. I would be a chef. I would be chef, chef. I would be a chef restaurant manager. <laughs> Bobby at PigeonMan.com <laughs> Wait, was hashtag endless shrimp trending? <laughs> yeah, it is. What's that? Red Lobster's doing an endless shrimp. <laughs> Somebody needs to let Bobby know him and the pigeons would be excited about it. Yeah, they might that, that might be a good time for Bobby and the Pigeons. Bobby and the Pigeons. Debut album, colon. <laughs> oh my god. Bobby and the Pigeons debut album, SOS, is about a lot of things. A love for history, an appreciation for music, a love for writing lyrics, as well as appreciation for animals. A few years later, Bobby was still getting invited to the Pigeons. Oh, Bobby left the Pigeons. Bobby. Oh, wow. Whoa. Dude, we got a real... Oh, <laughs> that's a really good answer. That's a great answer. Let's, let's make up a new band to get a new debut album. Their debut album, the debut album of GHL. Oh, Garfield's hot lasagna. It's got a lot to do with the fact we don't really do a lot with Garfield. Actually, we don't really do a lot with Garfield. We don't do much with Garfield. <laughs> it's almost like a self-indulgent way of saying, come check out our other record. And yeah, our other record is called No One Is Alone by Lenny <laughs> Yeah, we try to keep a big, wide, deep, wide, deep distance. <laughs> they dedicate an album to how much they don't like our music. We need to end the video soon. What do you think we should do? Uh, we should remind everyone to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. It really helps the channel a whole lot. Uh, Joshua, you're up next. Hey, Trey, I was just talking to Josh, and he's uh, he's been, he's been in the hospital ever since this was done. Um, uh, that's just how it is. So I think he's gonna be fine. Here's an idea for our next Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard it here first, folks. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs>